He was one of St. Louis's most recognizable TV pitchmen in the 1960s and early 70s. Tom Lewis Jr. died April 8th. Jim Kircher recalls Lewis's career and that velvety baritone voice. He came from the era of black and white TV, hot studio lights, and less corporate control. It was still a time when a creative guy could pretty much take a crazy idea straight to a live TV audience. Hey, how about a cold glass of lighthearted Falstaff right now? All you need is a glass and a tall, frosty bottle of lighthearted Falstaff. Then pour the Falstaff right into the glass. It's the beer that goes so well with your light. Tom Lewis did a lot of voiceover work, but many St. Louisans remember him as the guy who did the Falstaff commercials starting in the 1960s. It was on Channel 4's Saturday Night Movie. The early spots were live, but they were recorded for the advertising agency, and Lewis saved them. The Falstaff commercials were the unique ones because they were original. It wasn't long before, don't forget our client was here in St. Louis and could see all of the commercials before uh, I got uh, the word, uh, we're gonna let you ad-lib these commercials. I was ad-libbing more and more each time. It wasn't long before I got copy that came from Dancer Fitzgerald Sample in New York that said Tom Lewis ad-libs for one minute. And that was my heyday. Because every night we did something different. It's always with a, a little bit of humor or something very romantic or something that touched home. I think I'll enjoy a tall, frosty glass of lighthearted Falstaff. Tom Lewis was doing more than commercials. He was doing television, experimenting with its potential and having fun doing it. Well, why don't you join me in pouring yourself a glass? I'll pour mine, uh, let's say, right here, OK? There's lighthearted living in lighthearted That was uh, very successful. We only did it once. All of these commercials we only did one time. And don't forget, most of them were live before videotape. All of them were live before videotape. So if we wanted to do one of these tricks, we had to do it live. Years ago, we interviewed what we now call TV pioneers, and a lot of them said the same thing. As television became more profitable, corporate control tightened, and they couldn't afford to take risks anymore. It was the end of an era. OK, Doc, my glass. CBS came along and said, now we're going to have news people who are news people, and you staff people are going to be staff people, and you're going to be commercial announcers, and you're going to make station breaks, and that's about it. And that's when the glamour for the local performer kind of wore off. <laughs>